moving up from here to here, from money to recognition to meaning, is like moving up from job to career to calling. And the difference between someone who has a job and someone who has a calling is the difference between someone who's actually focused on the tasks and someone who's focused on the impact on the customer or the purpose of what you're doing. So when you actually move up, so what we did as an exercise uh, with, our with our housekeeping staff is we got 600 of them in a room. We had a lunch for them, brought them all together. It was, so that's half, half of the 1,200 housekeeping staff. Half of them had to work, so 600 came in a room. We had a big lunch. We had a nice bunch of fun things happening. And then we set them up into groups of seven to have conversations from different hotels. And we had, allowed them to have conversations about what does it mean to be a housekeeper or a maid or you know, whatever, whatever their particular hotel called them. And we asked one very provocative question that had a very big impact on, on them. And that was the following. We said, if a, Mar if a Martian came down uh, and actually stayed in your hotel tonight, and had no idea what your role was or what your title was. But tomorrow they checked, they, they, they uh, got up, they went out for a run, <laughs> which Martians, I guess, do. Um, and they actually came back and saw what you'd done for them. You'd actually come in and you'd done your normal daily job. But they saw what you did for them in their, in their room at this nice hotel. What would they call you if they didn't know you were called a maid or a housekeeper? It was sort of a, a provocative, abstract question. Now, I have to tell you, before we asked that question, we had a lot of conversations because that's sort of a hard question to answer. And you have to remember that the seven people sitting at the table are people, four of the seven are probably from, uh, uh, originally from a different country. Four, four or five of them probably have English as a second language. One of the seven may have gone and had a little bit of time in college. So it's not a particularly, it's not a group that's used to actually necessarily having that kind of question asked of them. But what happened in the course of the half hour that they, that they had this breakout time is the following collection of things came up. They said everything from, we're the mom away from home, because generally speaking, 98% of our housekeeping staff is, is women. Or we're the, we're the serenity sisters, um, because that's what we create. Or we're the peace of mind police, uh, or the clutter busters. And what we really got to is this idea that what they do, it's like they've, something like this has been done in hospitals. When hospitals give the, their nurses the sense that they're a patient advocate, which is a calling, being a patient advocate, it's very different than when a hospital makes the nurse feel like they're the person who creates pain with the syringe, <laughs> which is a job. So if you focus on tasks of people, no matter what part of the organization they're in, if you get focus on the tasks, uh, it will never help people get up to that sense of calling. And by focusing on that sense of calling, what we, were able to, what we were able to do is give the housekeeping staff a really great sense of their own self-worth and their impact. And then after that exercise, what we did is we came back with all 600 people in the room again, and we had five people, five customers, come up and tell their story. And so we had a, we had a woman, this is a, an amazing story, we had a woman come up from who who lived in Denver, and she flew in for this because she wanted to really tell her story so much. She was from Denver. She had been staying at one of our hotels in San Francisco quite a bit, um, and she worked for a company in San Francisco, this headquarters in San Francisco. She decided she was 38 years old. She was single, and she wanted to have a baby. And so she figured out in the miracles of modern medicine how she could go out and have a baby um, by herself. And she, had, she uh, got pregnant. We saw her... I guess the staff saw her there about two months before she was going to have the baby, and then we didn't see her uh, for a few months because she had twins. About four months after she had twins, she came back to work. She was a single mother. And she came for a few months. About four months after she came back to work, she got a call in Denver one day from her boss in San Francisco saying, I need to see you tomorrow uh, in my office. And so she had no idea what it was about. She got to the hotel. She was nervous. She talked with the staff at the hotel because she'd gotten to know them a little bit about the fact she was nervous. And she left that, that next morning to go over to her boss's office where she was fired. Um, we won't get into the details of why she was fired, but she was fired. So she comes back to the, her hotel room at our hotel. Uh, she goes through the lobby very stoically. People sort of know that she had a big day today, and, and they could tell that she, something went wrong. She went to her room. 
She did not close the door completely. It was about you know, two-thirds closed. And she went in her room and she started sobbing pretty loudly. So, so loudly that one of the maids, one of the housekeepers um, walking by heard her sobbing, opened the door uh, a little bit wider and said, are you okay? She didn't respond. The, the, the housekeeper went inside and gave her a hug. And they hugged for five minutes. Next thing that housekeeper did, she went off and she got all the other housekeeping staff in that hotel, which was eight other housekeepers. Brought the eight other housekeepers there, and they had a group hug for 15 minutes <laughs> with this woman who had been you know, a long-term guest of the hotel. Uh, and then they, it was about lunchtime, and they went out and they got her some food. And they said as a group that they would actually have lunch as a group in her room, uh, and, and then they would clean up after that, since they're the housekeeping staff. Um, but uh, they had lunch with her, and they just sort of made her feel like she was with family at a time when she was very stressed. 